Of course, hello. Um, I'm guessing you've got very special memories of the FA Cup, having won it when you were here last in 2009, but could you tell us what the FA Cup means to you? Yeah, a lot. A lot because uh, at that time it was the only, I think, silverware we won and I won in this, in this country. And uh, besides that, if you, if you see the impact of the, the FA Cup, not just in England, but worldwide, it's a tradition, huge tradition. I remember when I was a young man uh, watching a, and this specific Saturday afternoon to, to watch FA Cup. So it's a huge impact. In the last decade, Chelsea have been the most successful team in the FA Cup, having won it four times. So, how much of a priority is it this year, as much as the Premier League or not? Well, uh, when I started uh, days ago, weeks ago, then we said that we have to have some aims, of course, with the big club you have to set some targets. And, and fourth place, Premier League is, is difficult. Mm, but then there are two targets left, which one is the, the FA Cup. So I think it's a big target for this group of players to, to get it. You're unbeaten in three games, the club are unbeaten in four. You've got three home matches in a row coming up. How good an opportunity is this to build some momentum and get an unbeaten run going? Well, uh, as you mentioned, we are unbeaten now four times in a row, which is, which is OK, which was not done in the past, although it must be standard for a club as uh, Chelsea. And I'm, I'm happy, of course, with the, with the, let's say, restart a bit of the team. But um, for me, the, 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 next, the next step is very important. And that's why, of course, the win against uh, a very difficult team as Crystal Palace are. Um, but you have to, to have this uh, in, in a follow-up, and which means in the upcoming games, they have to show, we have to show where they are capable of. There have been some reports of a training ground bust up between Diego Costa and Oscar. I, I wondered, is there anything you can say about that? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was your first question, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It was a pity that our our um, photographer yesterday had a day off because he could have shot beautiful pictures from the two, uh, let's say, bulls who were chesting a bit after a, a, a charge. Uh, charge from behind from the, the the smallest bulls of the of the two which was Oscar and he took uh, he took a charge from behind and it was uh, over overdone especially when you know Oscar he uh, he's not the biggest tackler of the team and he got Diego and of course then they stumbled over the ground stood up as a normal reaction and then uh, chested a bit without any further seriousness of, uh, of threat of punching, whatever. It was more the threat of two bulls. And then we came in between, but it was no need to say that we had to, to, to grab them, avoiding them to, to hit, because I don't like when they hit. But I, in the intensity of the training session we had, we had, a, we had an intense, uh, very sharp training session. So that's close on the edge, and those things happen, and after that, Oscar uh, apologized in, in front of the group. He wanted to speak. I said, take the podium. He apologized by his overacting, and then they looked at each other, and then they start laughing. And I think it's okay. The, the jokes were made already afterwards. So it's a normal, not normal, but it's a battle which happens when you are in the, where you're used to play you know, on high intensity. People, you know, that, uh, that it happens. And if it's, Solved, it's solved. So no disciplinary action or anything like that? No, if they solve this uh, as, as they, they have done, then it's perfect. What, uh, what I said, sometimes we go over the edge when there's a good emotion, good intensity, but uh, when you control it a few seconds later or a few minutes later, then it's no problem for me, not at all. Um, will Didier Drogba be returning to the club anytime soon? Well, yes, he, uh, he is. Uh, I have expressed myself in the club in the past. That, uh, of course, he's a big legend for for this club in the country and outside the country. But still in under contract with uh, with Montreal, so we have to respect that. And I cannot give any further comments. We have to respect that and uh, and leave it up in peace. Transfer window is obviously open. Gus, I'm not going to hit you with a whole series of names, but <coughs> Jamie Vardy, for example, has been linked with Chelsea. Is he the kind of player you'd like to sign? 
First of all, there are good strikers in this league and, and abroad, but now it's it's the time of uh, nice speculations and, uh, and chocolate letters in papers, etc., etc. Who's going to uh, to where? So um, we are not going into into speculations and uh, and not not naming anyone from both sides, not from outside, not from our squad who is willing to go or can go, whatever. So that applies to any speculation regarding Aiden Hazard's future, is there anything you can say about that? Same answer in, in the other way around. Okay. Um, one last uh, question about that. Falcao um, <coughs> and his loan deal, will, will that continue as far as Yeah, I was worried. I'm still a bit worried about uh, about his, his situation. Uh, he, uh, when I came in, he was injured, and then he started training again, and uh, he got a setback. And then I said, hey, give him the time, give him the rest and the peace to, to recover well, and uh, we'll see what will happen. So he's a little bit out of sight at this moment for the first, uh, first uh, uh, 18 or 23. Uh, the FA are talking in terms of trialling video technology in, in next season's uh, FA Cup. Do you have any views about that? One way or the other? Well, I think it's a big help already in in this league for the the goal watches for the referees. They they uh, they are relieved, I think, with this help. Any kind of help uh, is welcome, I think, in modern age. And football is rather regarding that a conservative game, but it must not be uh, overdone. And I think when when you can have some tests, uh, especially when when it's in key situations, yeah, when when there's a goal coming uh, which is not not allowed formally, when you can see it, it must be on key situations. Then then you can uh, have a, a big of help for the referees. But I think it's it's ideal to test to test this situation. Uh, okay, one last one from me. Just we're told that um, Pep Guardiola is on his way uh, to England next season. What do you think he would bring to the Premier League? Well, he gathered a lot of experience, a lot of, of uh, impact, of course, in the in the in the last seasons. And I know him from my time as a player. He is a player in in Spain. I know him as a coach of the second team. I uh, I met him once or twice. Um, the way he played is is a way which which many managers like as a, as a player, and and he has transferred that into a, in very good uh, uh, coaching coaching ability. So uh, when 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 coaches with this attitude for modern beautiful football are adding something to the to the game, why not? But on the other hand, I'm not against nothing, but I'm also when I meet and uh, when I have the experience now, some young English managers who are working with me uh, in, in this case and, 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 and previously also, they are doing also well, and I think they have to be considered as, as good young managers as well. Nevertheless, when when extra quality can be added, welcome, I think. John, I guess how, how have you found the, the first few weeks back in English football? Has it been a different experience to what you you had last time? Has it changed much? Yeah. Mm, it has changed. I think the intensity of the game was before the, the same, the, the, the ambition was the same. I think uh, nowadays, and I said before, that, that some or more clubs have uh, become more strong in, uh, because they have uh, more to invest and the managers did make, uh, did make good, uh, good investments, good signings, so uh, it's more competitive than before. And you see the results. I'm not so much into statistics, but I think when you see now the top four or five, their wins is, I think, maybe less than it was years ago. Which means that, that the other teams give them a, a hard time. You've had time to assess your squad now. How do you think it compares to the group of players you had last time that, that won you the cup? Yeah, I don't want to go too much in the past, different players. <coughs> uh, although it is just uh, six years ago. Diff different players, different personalities. Um, you have more leaders before, do you think? Than you yeah, well, I'm, I'm figuring out, but I think the, we had at that time, uh, like Lampard, Balak, Drogba, uh, JT, uh, and I forget some. But it was it was uh, Alex. It was it was a strong a strong squad. Now the, the squad is strong. 
different different personalities, different personalities. Have you been given a target by the owner? If you achieve this, this, and this, then the job could be yours, or are you simply keeping the, the seat warm? No, it's else? just uh, and um, I've put two dates in my mind, which, which is 25 and 28 of May, and then it's uh, finished, and then I can go home on the 29th. So those dates is the FA Cup and the Champions League Cup. So which means that after that it's... Uh, it's could it go beyond that? Is there a possibility <coughs> that you do well, that the job could be yours? Is no, I think, uh, I think now we, we made it very clear that at the end of this, uh, then, then I, will, I will stop. And Scunthorpe, do you know anything? How much do you know about them? Well, we, we take all the, the, the opponents very seriously. And uh, my team and myself, we watched part of their their games, and uh, yeah, it's it's their game here, which they are, I think, dreaming of and getting a good result. And they have some some players like the striker Madden. He he makes already 14, uh, 14 goals in this. Uh, so we are very very well aware who is playing and who can play and who can cause hopefully not, but can cause danger. So we take. We take this opponent always serious. I know it was the fourth round last year, but did you watch the Pardon? Chelsea game against Bradford last season? Did you did you see? No, did I didn't see, see, but I know I know uh, you must not stumble again. Yeah. Gus, despite what's in the papers about them today, Oscar and Diego have been playing much, much better recently. Can you just talk about what you've seen from them so far? <coughs> um well uh what I saw that, uh, and I, of course I know the past as well, not so intensively as I, uh, I'm following it now, but they are focused on what they have to do. And that is most of the time not more to do, but sometimes less to do and focus what you're good at. And that's, I think, what, uh, what they did. On, on top of that, I think uh, players like Oscar, if they, uh, who are blessed by nature in their talent, they, they know that they have to, to work hard as well for the benefit of the team so that he can excel uh, his, his performance. They, 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 work, they work hard, they work hard in, in an area where maybe in, but I don't want to make the comparison too much in the past, that they were just relying a bit too much on their talent, but they adding now some, some things. But you would say that this I don't want to say that it was not before, but I'm focusing on that because the talent is, is, is gifted. In your view, this Chelsea team is at its best when Oscar and, and Diego are playing well? Not, not just them, because the others as well. Uh, William uh, is doing his job well, and, and, and in midfield they're doing the job well. And uh, on top of that, we need all the players because we are going into a very <coughs> tough sequence of games. Matt, can you tell me the team news, Gus? Uh, yeah. The team news, the injuries situation. Um, we have just uh, what we mentioned, Falcao. We have uh, Eden Hazard, and I don't think we have uh, Remy. Remy is uh, yeah. Remy is on the pitch, but not with the team. He's with a rehab. How challenging is it to just have one central striker available? In terms well, that's that's. Uh, we have to be very cautious, careful about uh, about our striker, uh, because yeah, that's that's uh, Diego at the moment, and uh, not having Remy and Falcao. Well, it's a little bit worrying. Will you bring anyone else in as as backup? Then I go what I said before, I don't want to get into that. I mean from your existing squad? Um, from the existing squad, now now uh, I've settled in a bit, or a lot. I have more uh, time also to, to see and analyse the potential <coughs> of, of, let's say, the, the, young, the young players around uh, 18, 19, 20, 21. And yeah. maybe, hopefully, is there a, a surprise. And um, is there a time scale for Eden Hazard to come back? Um, we have a midweek game, we have on uh, next weekend a game. Midweek he will not make, I think. But we have to be careful also, because uh, a player must not uh, 
fall again after twice being fallen in, in, in a physical trap as well. So I think in this time we must take a little bit more time. He was fit to play, but he got uh, this unfortunate, unfortunate slip in the Crystal Palace game. But we must be careful to uh, maybe maybe one game or half a game later than one or half a game too early.